Good morning. Today we are going to be doing PayPal shopping cart buttons. So in the last series of Website Wednesday, which were ages ago and I missed them, they were brilliant. Last time I showed you how to add a buy now button uh, from PayPal onto your website, uh, predominantly the Weebly website, but this will work for any type of website, which is lovely. Um, we showed you how to add a buy now button, which allowed people to click on your products on your website and buy it straight away through PayPal without having to invest in a massive e-commerce plugin for your website, which is a complete waste of time when you're testing. The thing I didn't show you was that you can actually create PayPal shopping carts, which are a completely different thing. Still allow you to do the same and sell your products, but they allow you to sell more of them at once, which might be quite cool. So let's get into that. So as you can see on this lovely Website Wednesdays website that we built quite a while ago, um, I've got the buy now button uh, where you can actually buy me and I've got a quote if you don't add a PayPal button to your website I'm going to kick you in the neck. Alright, be glad I didn't do that. I'm going to add a shopping cart button and what this has allowed us to do is actually add multiple products to our shopping cart or to a shopping cart on PayPal uh, and then they can buy all of them at once and give you a lump of cash rather than buying loads of individual things and having loads of different orders. So. The way we do that is we go onto PayPal, uh, and remember if you refer to the last video, you can go back, you go into your PayPal account that should already be upgraded to a business account, um, which is free. Go into all tools, which you can find at the top bar, and then you scroll all the way down until you find PayPal buttons. Now you open that tool, and that should take you straight through to where you can find all the buttons and stuff. Now, it gives us all the buttons that we've got here, now what it's actually going to do is it wants us to create the initial product buttons first. So if we click on create new button, it's going to take us straight through, straight through to this thing. And you actually see that initially it starts us on a shopping cart button. So what we did last time is we clicked the buy now button. This time we want shopping cart. There are many other different types. They are quite self-explanatory. Um, all of them used for taking money from customers or being able to be given money by customers, however you want to look at it. So we're going to go with shopping cart, and it works exactly the same way. Uh, so we're going to add the product name, which is going to be Henry Website Lord. Item ID uh, might be Hen2017. How much am I worth? One million. No, okay, we'll just go for a tenner. Cool. And then we can add uh, the drop downs again, like we did last time. Uh, so we might want to add a drop down with pricing option. So this might be a uh, t-shirt. So if you want to buy me with a Deadpool t-shirt like this one, you can. And it still costs you £10. Or you could buy me with a Superman t-shirt. So we click done on that. And now what that's done is you can see here in the customer view that it's actually added the drop down to the button so we can change which kind of t-shirt that I'm going to be wearing. Cool, so we can charge postage. So shipping human beings is probably quite a lot. So we go 50 quid. Um, and there we go. That's pretty much how you do it. So we create the button, then PayPal is going to give us all of the code that we need to be able to do it. So we go down here again, we copy that. Then we go back into Weebly, exactly the same as we did last time. We drag the embedded code over. So I'm going to put that next to this other button. So we go where the blue line is, drop that in, click to set, edit, paste, and now, we have put in another PayPal button. Now this time, it's an add to cart button, and I'll show you what that does. So I'm gonna publish the website, go straight onto there, and now I'm gonna show you the difference between the buy now button and the shopping cart button, because there is a subtle difference. By subtle, I mean completely massively different. So the buy now button, if we click on that, that takes us straight through to PayPal, where you can pay upfront for that one thing that you're buying. That's it, done sorted um, and then people will either pay with their paypal account or they'll create a guest account and pay through with card or whatever so it's quite cool you can take amex nice um, so that will ask us to log in i'm going to try and not give myself 7.99 which i <laughs> priced myself as last time what this allows us to do is go through pay with card etc 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 so we're back on our website wednesdays uh website now I'm going to do the add to cart one instead, so I'll click on that, I can choose, I'm going to have the Deadpool t-shirt, because it means I don't have to change. And now as you can see, it has added, 
it looks slightly different. It doesn't go straight to where they can pay for the stuff. It actually takes you to a shopping cart style thing. And it's actually built up. Apparently I've got white chocolate on my, my shopping cart already on PayPal. <laughs> Excellent. So you can actually see that we've got the item name with the item number, the price, uh, totals it up and with postage. So if you've got multiple different uh, products on your website, you can people can go through your website and click this add to cart button and it will actually add all of them into one thing and they can pay you all at once for everything. Now I think it probably merged postage so it will charge you 50 quid postage flat if you bought three of this yeah, and they can check out as PayPal, check out as a guest. That is how you add a shopping cart button and that is the main difference. Now the one bit I would add to this is that you can actually put a uh, view cart button as well. So when you're at this part, we'll go back to PayPal, um, when you're at this part where it gives you the code if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see it says create a view cart button. Uh, so now we can just do this. It gives you very, very few options. Um, we just want the PayPal button. Unless you want to upload your image, Whee, that'd be fun. It gives you a new code, copy that. Same as always, we go into Weebly and we copy the code. So we drop an embedded code thing in. Edit, paste, click off of that. And then you'll see that it's given us a view cart button instead. And now what that allows people to do is actually see their shopping cart and see what they've actually got in it. So I'll click on that now. We need to refresh. Remember to refresh. View cart button, click on that. There you go. It shows us what is in our shopping cart currently. So these are two very cool buttons, especially if you've got loads of products on your website. I wouldn't suggest using the shopping cart function if you are a service or you only sell one big bespoke product. Um, you know, if you've got, say, knitwear or a bakery where you want to make loads of cakes for people and people can order stuff, use the shopping cart. Get them to order as much as they possibly can at once because the more you get at once, the cheaper it's going to be for you in terms of PayPal fees and all that sort of stuff. But as well, you know that you've got more money in. You don't have to wait to sell one thing at a time. Whereas if you are a service, so if you're selling counselling or if you're selling any kind of service, gardening service, uh, it would be cool to just have the one PayPal thing of... I want you to come and cut my grass. It's this much PayPal done. Then you can organize when you're gonna go and do it. That is how you add a shopping cart button to PayPal. So next week, uh, we're gonna keep with the Weebly stuff. Uh, and I'm actually gonna show you how to change your theme in Weebly, uh, which is really easy, can be really useful. Uh, I'm gonna show you what people think the dangers are of that and how we can avoid them. See you next week.